is, Tim, how prevalent is churn, do you believe, in the industry anyway? There's a lot of talk about it, uh, but there's a lot of disagreement about uh, the degree to which it really is a problem. Yeah. I think, I think it's difficult to be specific about the extent of churn. What I know is that any insurer knows what their average lapse rate might be. And then any insurer would be able to identify those advisors with a lapse rate higher than the average and beneath the average. Um, as far as forming a view whether those that have a lapse rate higher than the average um, are doing a better job by their clients or a worse job by their clients, the only way to get to the bottom of that is to actually have a look at the files. It's actually defining what the definition of a lapse is and you know there's been a lot of debate about that and you know when a, a policy expires at age 65 or there's a death claim or there's a, a person on a long-term income protection claim it, you know the majority of those um, instances are pick up in the definition of lapse and I think that's the biggest challenge that we have is that an advisor that, that might present with a lapse rate higher than the norm it's actually digging in as you said beneath that and saying well you know what is a true cancellation because of circumstances versus a a genuine lapse of, yeah. of the policy because it's been moved from one insurer to another.